Today's morning devotional. The word our spiritual food. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. John chapter 6 verse 35. There are many in this age of the world who act as if they were at liberty to question the words of the infinite, to review his decisions and statutes, endorsing, revising, reshaping, and annulling at their pleasure. We are never safe while we are guided by human opinions, but we are safe when we are guided by a, thus saith the Lord. We cannot trust the salvation of our souls to any lower standard than the decisions of an infallible judge. Those who make God their guide and his word their counselor behold the lamp of life. God's living oracles guide their feet in straight paths. Those who are thus led do not dare to judge the word of God, but ever hold that his word judges them. They get their faith and religion from the word of the living God. It is the guide and counselor that direct their path. The word is indeed a light to their feet and a lamp to their path. They walk under the direction of the Father of Light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He whose tender mercies are over all his works makes the path of the just as a shining light, which shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The word of God is to be our spiritual food. I am the bread of life, Christ said, He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. The world is perishing for pure, unadulterated truth. Christ is the truth. His words are truth, and they have a greater value and a deeper significance than appears on the surface. Minds that are quickened by the Holy Spirit will discern the value of these sayings. By his conscience every honest Jew was convinced that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, but the heart, in its pride and ambition, would not surrender. When the truth is held as the truth only by the conscience, when the heart is not stimulated and made receptive, the mind only is affected. But when the truth is received as truth by the heart, it has passed through the conscience, and captivated the soul by its pure principles. It is placed in the heart by the Holy Spirit, who reveals its beauty to the mind, that its transforming power may be seen in the character. True religion is embodied in the Word of God, and consists in being under the guidance of the Holy One in thought, word, and deed. He who is the way, the truth, and the life takes the humble, earnest, wholehearted seeker, and says, follow me. He leads him in the narrow way to holiness in heaven. And all who decide to follow the Lord fully will be led in the royal path.